two, three, four. The world was so big and I was so small. Your voice was always the loudest of all. Man, we're team on five. One, two, three, four, five. Teams. Five teams. times. Yeah. That's a pretty good try. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Welcome to the Adventures of Danny and Mike. mini sewed To my right, Mr. Uh, Daniel Tamboroni. Uh, Tamborelli, Oh, actually. sorry. And that's Mr. Michael Mamoma. No, that's Michael Marona and with a C in the middle. Thank you. I appreciate it. And my name's Jeremy. Uh, what's up, everybody? How's uh, life? What's, uh, what's the haps? Welcome. We're here. Yeah, we're with, here. Tell, tell me what's happening. Well, uh, a lot of things in the news. Caught a serial killer. Yeah, yeah, that was that was fun to watch. Yesterday. You did? No, Patton Oswalt's uh, deceased former wife uh, did. It sounds did like. a lot of the grunt work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if you saw it on there, but yeah, they they uh, they found a guy. They they rooted around his trash. They had a DNA sample from way back in the seventies, and uh, it matched. I wonder if they root around your trash, what they might find, Jeremy. Well, let's see. Seltzer yeah. bottles. You bought a lot of seltzer, seltzer bottles. Yeah. We, we, uh, we decided to toss Jeremy's bags, as it were, and we came up with a lot of seltzer bottles. You know what you would find? My carrageenan uh, consumption has been too high. What? Too high. Carrageenan. Carrageenan is, uh, is an element in seaweed. Oh, it's okay. It's a seaweed extract that you use to emulsify and thicken gotcha. sauces and ice cream specifically. Mm. My carrageenan is coming from one source, and that is a ice cream company from Vermont. Oh my! Oh God. wow! Ben and Jerry's. Oh, so You're Ben and Jerry's guy. I promise I wouldn't. This I is a I uh, this is a revelation. Well, I, I sometimes I didn't know get that the, Jeremy uh, that that uh, Michael eats uh, Ben and Jerry's. What What do you mean? Like people eat ice cream? It's just like I don't. I do should. That. I think that's a pretty good brand to. Yeah. To eat, right? Yeah, except you it know, like has... like a Talenti brand. Except it has... Except it oh, it's disgusting. Except, talenti. Except it has carrageenan in it, which we really don't need <laughs> in our lives. Um, sp- speaking of ice cream, I have this thing, and I've been dating uh, my girlfriend about seven months now, and she's found out that if we have a weekend or a couple of days that we hang out... And we go out and buy food and we buy ice cream of any kind. It will not survive. It will not be there when she gets there the next time. Uh, which oh, is yeah. a bit of a point of oh, contention. Oh, don't. Oh, oh, like, <laughs> oh your girlfriend is, wor- your girlfriend is learning because ice cream per- yes, permanence yes, with you? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's the first step, man. Is it? Then, well, then, then she's going to move in. Well, you never know. It happens. And then she's yeah. going to eat yeah, your... Yeah, but and we then need she's this gonna podcast eat your, studio, okay? We can't so give she up the, can't move she can't in. Then room. she's going to eat the pot, your pot brownies and, no. and call the an ambulance. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. I remember that what story from way back. What a callback. Yeah. Uh, um, speaking but yeah, so of callbacks... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, together, I didn't get one for that uh Oh, for the for the beer commercial? Oh, for the Xbox... The PS360 that you read for? Sorry, guys. But here's some news. Okay. Um... Mike sounds like he's sick. Uh-huh. He sounds like uh-huh. he got the, the sweaty Comic-Con nerd for uh, Yes, as Dan and I were upstate this past weekend in uh, lovely Poop Kipsy, New York, we uh, surveyed... We just uh, lost Poughkeepsie. <laughs> we love Dutchess County. Do we have County. anybody left? We love no, Dutchess no. County. We really do. We love all the... We yeah. love the, the Taconic Parkway, except for one stretch of it, <laughs> which can eat poop. Wow. Oh, okay. I did okay. I drove him back and forth. I don't know what he's complaining about the roads for. He didn't have to do shit. Oh, there's just a road sign on one on one part of the Taconic. It's not it's not anything to do with your driving. Oh, okay. Well, that's well, road good. signs can that, make it that can, you can gave really the middle make... finger to and that I did oh, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, that's so, fine. You can say that. It's the uh, you know, so Donald my boy, J Trump baloney uh, state park. He bought a state park. Cool. So good my for him. Yeah. That was a Matt Damon movie, right? We bought a state park. <laughs> <laughs> when like uh, when Dan um, picked me up, it was uh, it was Friday night, and the weekend was bursting with potential. And when Dan dropped me off, it was Sunday night, and I was tired, a carrier of germs, apparently. Uh, well, when you don't use hand sanitizer, the oh, way I you did should. though. I did. I oh, you, what do you mean the way you should? Because you know. I put it everywhere. I put it behind my ears. <laughs> I put it in my, my pits. You know, I don't just use it. You know, I don't just use the hands. You well, know what I mean, Jeremy? I know what you mean. Um, but you maybe you should uh, uh, 
uh, I be a little more. I mean, okay, I, so I feel I, like I feel like I touched as many sweaties as you did. Do you know? Yeah, but you've been eating more vegetables. Do that you, is true. Do you know that I used a hand sanitizer dispenser in a bathroom today, and then tried to wash my hands and was confused as to why there was no suds and repeated the process before <laughs> realizing that it was oh, it hand smells more like rubbing alcohol yeah. now. It's weird. It was weird hand sanitizer smelling. and not soap and then that rectified happens. my mistake. Mm. Oh, so maybe he's just not able to, you know, you put too much. I've been woozy Too lately. much of one thing yeah. isn't, isn't yeah. good either. Yeah, I've been woozy. I got a little dizzy yesterday. You got dizzy? Yeah, just a little dizzy spell. I don't think I've been eating well. I'm oh yeah, damn. Maybe I got sick. Pre- oh yeah, maybe I know I you're not eating well. Wet. You're not drinking well either. You're drinking, you know, it's Chardonnay. straight up chocolate milk with coffee in it. Every Ooh, day. Okay, Ooh, let's, Jeremy? let's do this right now. Did you bust? I, did you bust let's him? Let's do this right now. Someone's let's been do this busted. Right now. So I have mocha. a mocha or two. You have a mocha. Have it. Somebody's yeah. got a mocha. So habit. I, I do it's not two. I've seen. I've, I've, some I've days I do three, depending on the day. Okay. The the average is two. Okay. So I have a sidebar. Uh, after or before? Right now. Okay, go ahead. Your Honor. Did you pick up this habit working on set and being able to get, you know, the proper coffee with chocolate syrup? No, but I did bring it to that, and then they finally got chocolate syrup just for me and another person. Okay, go, go yeah. right ahead. So um, <laughs> Danny uh, has been on a health kick uh, for the last two years, something like that. And no, not a lot of carrageenan, and I noticed, in his intake. Uh, have you tested him? Intake. No, he hasn't tested me. Um, Let me stick him. I'm not, I'm not someone who's... I'm not preachy about no, it. But you are, um, there are things like, uh, uh, see, I've been a vegetarian for 20 years almost, if not more. Yeah. So there are these things that, well, that you shock, know, five years ago you would have been like. Apart from the shock bacon. Every like so what often. though? Well, let's, uh, I, okay. Just because I'm eating vegetables okay, now. Okay, let's do this right now. And you ate them 20 years ago. Let's okay, here's, right here, here's meat. I don't ever go, man, I love these vegetables. Jeremy, no, but you, you have, should really. No, I'm just. Here's what you have done. Here's what you have done. You've done things like, oh. You have regular milk. You don't have almond milk. You know we're not supposed to drink cat milk from cows. I'm not. I never said you that. You did like that. say that. Not like that. You say human beings aren't supposed to drink cow milk. Yeah, and I believe that. Wait, was he? Preached? But and that's not was because it's preaching? two years of, of me doing but I mean, that. I haven't a, really drank milk since I was like, yeah. you know, a little kid. Uh, I've, I've sorry. Met, like, point of order. Point of order. Dan, what do you have with uh, peanut butter and fluff sandwiches? I don't eat those. What I eat a peanut butter sandwich. So what do you have with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Bread. A glass of water. And what I, do you drink? I, do I don't milk. drink milk, dude. I but don't I'm saying, do what do you drink with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Water, seltzer, Probably. water. Give me it. Whatever. Oh my a... god, that sounds like Sorry, that sounds man. like when you you got arrested and you didn't have ID. That's like that's what you're fucking eating. <laughs> well, my... No, I just don't. I just don't. <laughs> that's that's not eating. a that's not a two year old thing. That's not me being like no. But that why do you have that? Well, you shouldn't do it. It's just like yeah. I mean, like now there's yeah. the ability that you can go to the store and get like almond milk and other yes. things that replace that. But I don't ever give you shit for it. And it's not pod- about it milk. wasn't a shit thing. And your podcasting partner can tease you it's for the, it. At the point. It's the Hershey syrup consumption. It, there, and, and there is a uh, 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 corn not corn syrup in there. What's which the is, ratio? I don't like. What's, but <laughs> how much how much Hershey syrup goes into each mocha? Uh, probably two, two to three um, thimble thimblefuls. Tablespoons. 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 Yeah, at least you two go tablespoons. Through, so you go through for the listener. A Listen, my grandpa was, listener, a, was a Hershey's Danny, guy. Yeah, I'm keeping sure. the legacy it's going. A, I don't care if it's Hershey's or Bosco or whatever the Bosco. fuck it is or Alaska. I don't care what it is. I, the, uh, for the for, healthy it, ones, I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't bother me at all. I just know known you for a long time, and yeah. I know that you know that. I guess my you and a sugar thing is not yes. always the best thing yeah. for you. And so when I see you drinking a couple of them a day and like being all jittery and shit, I'm not jittery. and getting so, hella work please. done. Thank you. Getting, getting hella, hella work, work done. done. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. What's the problem? My 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 point in saying that though was was uh, there are things in your life now that mirror mine ten years ago when I was like in the midst of vegetarianism. You know things like nutritional yeast, things like sure. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not. But so I'm just saying there's a weird. Par- there's a weird parallel though, and sometimes like things like milk, we're like, no, I don't drink it because it's from a cow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, yeah, I talked about this like ten years ago, but look, and I not- eat cheese, and that comes yeah. from cow's milk. So yeah. well, you know, yeah. I'm just saying that I don't, you know, go out you of my way drink to drink milk just un- milk unless yeah. it's been curdled properly. 
I don't know. I'm uh, I'm uh, not. I'm not. I'm not trying to to be holier than thou. And I know we've no, had you're not, that, we had that yeah. talk about why you're I don't trying to be smellier than thou. Regular milk, but I mean, I haven't. Yeah. since I was like, go go twenty years. What do you back. have with birthday cake? I like birthday cake, man. Just no milk. I don't just drink no milk. milk with things dude, like that. Just, so weird, I don't. Dude. I don't. I yeah. don't think that's and weird I, at all. Okay, I do, coffee. I don't what do you drink, drink it. Co- I don't drink, co- drink coffee. That's my man. Yeah. I don't drink. Yeah, I'm coffee not touching either. you because you're sick, man. Nine days. <laughs> nine days to go before oh, I get right, married, man. Right. I'm not Speaking trying of, to get yeah. sick. And that was kind of. I was leading up to that because um, a lot of that is thanks. We to haven't cake. had the two year engagement, by the way. Yeah. What is that? A traditional? No, I'm saying no. You know, like. She made me eat better because we're getting married. It didn't take that long. No, no. She made you eat no, better but, because you're going to spend the rest of your lives together. Yeah, but we didn't know that when we first started. I knew it, but you know, I'm sure she did, too. Oh, you knew it? And you're sure she did, too? Yeah. Okay. I had, to, uh, I had to wait for the right time. Taking it notes a... <laughs> taking notes for my impromptu, <laughs> unscripted speech at the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted. You're going you're gonna to have fun. It's going to be really fun. I can't wait. Yeah. I, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, wrote va- I wrote my vows while doing laundry. Huh, interesting. That's how I did it. Inter- did you use uh, regular water or did you use distilled water? I used regular water. Did you use the house yeah, blend? fucked up of you. What with the, for doing my laundry? For did the you, earth, did you use the house blend? Did at, you use uh, I used the water? house blend. Yeah, uh, the good, yeah. the good I went detergent. To clean, I went to clean and green for the listener, yeah. uh, for the uh, adherents and enjoyers of uh, Brett Davis's the podcast oh, for yeah. laundry oh, will yeah. know yeah. Uh, what we're talking about. Yeah. That's a crossover, um, but yeah. So did yeah. you use cold? Because that's better for the earth. No, I did warm. Whoa, no, you can't do <laughs> really? warm. I, do, I really? throw everything in there. And warm. Oh, speaking no. of, I forgot to bring Why? over my tux today. I was going to bring my tux over here and try it on in front oh. of you guys. Yeah, that's, that's bad luck, though, right? My suit coat didn't. No, I don't think that's. I don't think that's. <laughs> no, he didn't saw come me. yet. Your suit coat didn't no, come but yet. My pants came. Oh, they did. Okay, yeah. good. Did, did you, they wait, work? wait, wait. Yeah. Your pants came. Yeah, I got. What do they need you for then? If your pants can come, they were too. They were too big. It's a good problem to have, bro. Let's take them in. I know I can't take them in. They're a rental tux, Mike. But why can't you take them in? You can take them in. They, they'll take pay in. you fifteen dollars towards any uh, tailoring. Alterations. So you just go to a, is that true? Uh, any sort of laundry. Take them place in if you want to. No. You can get your seat reduced, <laughs> and you can get your it. pants taken Does in it fit and great? your cuff. Yeah, it fits nice. They okay. will fit your yeah. boots. Okay, dokie. Yeah, but you know, if you, if your if your sleeves are down to here or something, they'll they'll fix that for you. Yeah, no, my sleeves are fine. So okay. I had, it's a little bunchy up I had top, G, but everything will be on. So I had, Speaking matter. of the sleeves being over, I had G over the other day, and uh, I got him in uh, Dad's sneakers for the first time. Wow, that's a, uh, what's he wearing, a Carhartt hat? Yeah. He's oh ready, to, God, ready to light. A little, little stinking, little stinking yeah, hipster. For the, uh, he looks like I got him clomping around in Dad's up sneakers the, uh, for the first video time. Video for the, our video. Patreon subscribers. This is a video episode. Uh, oh, you can go right. to, where would hey. you go if oh, you... Patreon.com. Dot com slash... Uh, Danny and Mike with the with the ants. I'm going to stop saying that because it's it's ridiculous. I don't care. Uh, so you're a week out from your wedding this and weekend. Nine we days out. Another, son, another picture of me. Nine with Nine days son. out. We will we will Grab put up son. we will put up pictures yeah. from Hudson Valley Comic Con because we had we had some pretty good ones. Yeah. Um. But yeah, nine nine days. So in yeah. a row. No, not nine days in a row, Michael. So uh, you're, you're, no, you were going in two different places. Someone's asking fasting, about the wedding. Right. You're talking about Hudson Valley Comic Con. We're looking at pictures and a podcast. Let's regroup. How about so that? How you're, about you're let's, fasting. Let's just regroup. You're fasting for the next nine days before you get married. <laughs> no, I'm not fasting, but I. I Why did not? A juice I think you, might, you could get some cool. You did the juice. You could have some cool doing, visions. Yeah. I the idea was that we were going to do a full on cleanse, and I. N- said that it was a bad idea because the last day of the juice cleanse would be the day before we went to this Comic-Con last week. And I said to her, I was like, look, I'm doing this Comic-Con mm. convention and the last thing in the world I want is to shit my pants in front of a bunch of sweaties. <laughs> like, I don't want to do uh, that. I'm sure, yep. there's, I'm sure there's something else that was the last thing you wanted to do, but maybe it might no, be the last I mean, thing you wanted pretty, to do that that's weekend. A pretty, no, no, I'm just shitting your pants in general is a bad idea or sharding. Uh-huh. Any of that uh-huh. stuff is not a, is not on the high priority list you, didn't you of things to me? do. You introduced me to the phrase gambled and lost, right? Gambled and lost or fumbled. That was you. No, I never heard fumbled and I never need to. Yeah. Gambled and lost was yeah, plenty was fum- plenty for fumble me. Fumble is, is actually a way better term. It's like you fumbled on that play. Oh, I don't know. That Here's my question. So many things. If would you rather since you have a problem pooping would in public, you rather would you rather yeah. poop your pants at a Comic Con where you're a guest? It's or, time to play. It's time to play. Or take a dump in a public bathroom without a door. 
Oh my god, that's okay. a good one. <laughs> okay, uh, parks, <laughs> parks department, public park. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I was thinking Comic Con, but yeah, at Comic Con, if I uh, shit my pants sitting at the table, or 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 I have to poop in a public bathroom that you has have the choice no to door. do either of those. I think I would say, can I pick for him? I yeah. think shit in a public bathroom because right. otherwise I have to suffer through it. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> if he shits himself at a well, if you're yeah, putting your own con. personal spin on it, then I would prefer to shit my pants of at the course. table. So, so everybody so gets can... to share. It. <laughs> yes, we're like brothers <laughs> who share everything: the proceeds, uh, <laughs> the highs, the lows. We don't, you know, we don't. Hey, get... we shared a Twinkie. I they had a they had a cornhole competition. Yeah, actually, nice. and I won a Twinkie, and we it turns out my left hand. Fake TV brother is a real ringer. <laughs> uh, he cleaned uh, the Ghostbusters clocks. I did, and uh, we took uh, several snack cakes to we the took, hole. We wow. took home two Twinkies. Nice. Yeah. Well, they didn't make it home, but uh, yeah. I ate half of it, and that was uh, I. You know, the other that half was the other in, thing. I was like, I'm not going to be able capsule. to eat well at this thing, no matter what. So we ain't cleansing. And also, I wanted to take them to Quinn's, this bar and beacon that's really great that has delicious Japanese. Yeah, food. we had right. some good shout ramen. out to Quinn. We had some good ramen. Yeah, real good ramen. Uh, George incredible. George knew Ray Roy, who's a guy that I work right. with in the union, and is a, a Dutchess County guy who mm -hmm. has tried to get us up there to Quinn's to do his uh, open mic or his drunken karaoke. Yeah, which Dan, I, would, the I always show. have no problem going so we'll, up there. Uh, the Jones plays up there a bunch. We'll and, give uh, Ray Roy a shout out and see if we can't do that. Yeah. It should mm -hmm. be fun. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we met some nice people. <laughs> we So the the guy that does these cons for us, this guy Ryan, he uh, he was there with us doing what you do, Jeremy, when he can't come. Uh -huh. Absorbing uh -huh. my like abuse. Like, yes. <laughs> taking a lot of the abuse and handling the money. And uh, but neither very well. Mm. No, so, no, you're much better at it because yeah. you actually, you know, well, you stay you at guys. the table and yeah. you maybe care. he didn't love you. That was he's the... he's like talking to people and we like didn't screw his like, foot to the ground. You don't want to like you don't want to be like, Thank hey, you. it's going to be fifty dollars for that package deal that you got. We want Ryan to say that because it's you know the super combo, yeah. right? Sometimes right. we call it the happy. But uh, so he was getting a lot of shit from Mike this weekend, so I decided to jump in as well uh, with the shit giver. <laughs> Mm. So when we were at Quinn's, we parked in a place, and I was like, kind of worried that it wasn't a good place to park. I, I thought really we should have parked in front of the po the post office, personally. Right. Well, we did on we the main street. We parked on the York. side road. Okay. And I went to the bathroom, and then I went out the back door, and I moved the car to the back parking lot. Mm. And then we had dinner and a couple drinks, and just hanging out for a while. And the trap our was buddy, set. Yeah, and the trap was set. <laughs> our buddy Carl, Carl Arnheider, yep, Arnheider, friend, friend of the pod, friend of the podcast. Shout out to he uh, came out fencing Carl and hang out, uh, hung out with us, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I got he was hip to what had happened. He was the only one I told. So Mike even also was was unaware. So when we go to walk out. We turn the corner and bam! I start acting. Oh my god! No car. Wow. Where's, oh where's man, the, car? the car's gone. The dude. car was parked right here. And just as a as a like just as a precursor to this, when Jounce played there at the beginning of March, it had snowed a bunch, but the roads were clear. But there were these signs that said no parking, snow removal, and I thought that was from the day before because there was no snow to move. That gotcha. snow had been and, removed. And while we were playing, cops came in and like said that we were going to get our car towed. So I was like, oh, thanks for giving us a heads up. I got a hundred dollar ticket. Here's online. a button. Here's, yeah, a, here's, here's a, a black here's a, here's a mm. here's a beacon piece of paper with a bunch of information on it. It was a hundred dollar ticket oh. that when we got back from tour, I paid a day late and it turned into a two hundred dollar ticket. That shit is which really thing. sucked. That's so a I, magical so ticket. Jones paid a hundred bucks and then I personally paid a hundred bucks because I, I it was my so my, my my biff. It's kind of like the Jones paid for sixteen days of the ticket and then you paid for fifteen, <laughs> yeah, 15 yeah, days so of exactly. the ticket. Exactly. So could have been worse. But I told them this and I was like pissed off about it. So right. I kind of like set the set the mood for right. like this to be like a real problem. So I was like, really like, I can't fucking believe it. And then we came shit. around the like, corner and the tr the car wasn't there. No car. Like I'm like freaking out. Mm. Ryan runs across the street. There's a pizza place. And he's like, he's like, did anybody see a, a, a car get towed? And he was like, a I car get him. towed on that side. He's I like, nah, man, never. That's good parking. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, well, somebody stole my car. And I go around the corner and I can't hold anymore. and just start laughing. I wanted him to, to call the police. I like that his he, dad is a cop. Yeah. His dad is a cop okay. in in Poughkeepsie or Newburgh. I think he's a Newburgh police officer. And uh, well, also when we walked in on Saturday, we had just you know 
mm. partaking. Mm. And we walk in and like immediately he's like, oh, it smells like you guys are having fun. And I was like, oh, I know you're a police officer. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just fucking with us. He, yeah. um, he couldn't operate, though, on the turf field. He uh, he had to wait till we got off the field. <laughs> That's a I, rule. But he was gonna call his dad, right? And then that would have been a bigger issue, yeah, a bigger you deal. Yeah. And he was gonna. Then he decided that he wanted to have his dad come in and like take Ryan out in like cuffs or like you know someone from this police department wow. being like he filed a, a you know it's an a intricate. false, false report. report. Yeah, yeah. But then the lady, the lady who runs our company, their, their company who puts us on these shows, was like. Yeah, it's really great to see one of our agents getting taken out in handcuffs at a con. Like, don't fucking do that. Is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, you got you got reamed out for even thinking about it. Wow, wait, it was a, it would have been really funny. You could get in trouble me. for thinking. Yeah, not you can this, get in trouble for thinking. But this. but no photos it's appeared. Is what climate. you're saying? Mm. So my the thing that I caught from that was that you said it. You, I rounded the corner and it was. At Danny time, magic time, which just meant you were about to get a guy arrested. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's bad. the moral of the story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is bad. Yeah. Well, yeah, if he had called the cops and filed, or you know, and, right. s- and said that the car had been stolen, and then I just not, yeah. th- then he filed a false police report, which is that, uh, that'd be problematic. You can get in trouble yeah. for that. Unfair. So what? Uh, what else did I miss? Did, did you guys eat well? Did you drink well? I usually try to. Yeah. No. Just we went to Quinn's. That was where the eating and drinking took place. Right. Uh, and the eating at uh, the con was uh, filled with a. They had a, a massive like six foot sub, oh, but they nice. didn't have an actual knife to cut it. They were, had butter knives. Does, so, uh, you're like trying to cut through this thing. It's like six, seven inches high. Just Kate. <laughs> you're just like. Does Caitlin away. listen to the pod? Yeah, she listens. I told her, man. I said, I, so I that was know, part of it, too. I so was like, I'm not going to be able to eat well. well that's, that's the thing about that. She knows you had part of a six foot sub. She knows I had part of a six foot sub. Because I took a video. I took a video of you, and you said, if you send this video to my fiance, I'm, I'm going to beat the shit out of him. Wow. He threatened me with physical assault. I did. Assault I did. Because he was doing it on the first Because he was doing it on No, he was doing it on purpose. First, he took a picture of me eating something else that was unhealthy. And then another thing, and he was like, oh, I'm going to send it to Kate. I deleted that. And I saw that he took a a video and that's like you're trying to start shit like if you send that to my lady I'm gonna beat the shit out of you and I said and then there was a lady across the table and she looked at me and I looked at Mike and I said no I mean it I'm gonna beat the shit out of you <laughs> and, and she didn't even give us a knife she to didn't cut get the up. sandwich she didn't, no, no she didn't do anything yeah right. so he cut the so he cut it with a with a plastic piece of plastic where wow and, and that's the that. The but big, I did it. I did. Yeah, it because that's a big it was, problem at those lunch. cons. But he didn't beat guys. the shit out of me. Just just being around uh, is that eating so much is food? hard. It's hard to eat and schedule yeah. to eat and schedule oh, yeah. be a, yeah. yeah. I I ended up eating chicken fingers and fries on Sunday. Oh. And hey. it really really fell off the wagon. No, dude, that's like that's what your audience eats. You know what I mean? You gotta get in touch with your audience. Yeah. Well, you got really in touch with your audience because mm. you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get as much in touch with my audience as you thought I might have, considering uh, what went down with Wonder Woman at the booth. Well, look, man, here I was being a good, I was being a good fake TV brother. Okay. He thinks he was wingmanning. I was wingmanning. I was wingmanning. There was this this Wonder Woman lady that came up, and she was like, you know, she said hello to me, and she says, "Excuse me, I just need to tell you that I had a huge crush on you, Michael C." Mm. And then, like, she know, gave Dan the stopped. Heisman. She gave me, yeah, she, she definitely the, gave me the, the Heisman. Heisman it wasn't point. even like you know, I was just saying hello. She was up at the table, but she was wearing a very uh, uh, good, a very good costume of Wonder Woman. Okay, um, to which she said that she would only wear this uh, outfit when she wasn't around her kid. So you can, it was. Uh, it was scantily clad. Wow, okay. Wonder Woman is who it was. Life, life, like right. So Mo- movie realistic. But you know, I could see that they were talking, and she was being very nice to him, and and sort of fluffing him up. And, and I started and blushing. Mike, Turned the reddest wow. red I've ever. I've never seen Mike like that. I ever. started drinking beets. I've never seen you like that. I started drinking beets like, this past week. He was just like really, really red in the That's face. That's what the red and was. Like mm-hmm. Saying thank you and like oh thank you some blah blah blah, and like I could tell that there was like this like awkward moment of like you know she definitely wanted to like get his number. So I wrote Mike's number down on the back of. Uh, because I give away Jounce download cards so okay. people can listen. So she gets some free music. <laughs> Doubled up. So she got so she got some free music, and I wrote Mike's phone number on the back of it, and I'm holding it there, and like Ryan's like, you should just give it to her, and I was like, I'm not doing that. Like this is on Mike. Yeah. So I 
I slip the I slip it to Mike under the table, and he's just like holding on to it. So the ball is in his court. Whether he chooses to right. to give or not to give, I've made it easier for him by just being able to like, you know, just hand yeah. hand off. I did the work for you. Just yeah. hand off, and he did it. And huh. you know, nice. then she asked me for another download card, and I was like, "Lady, I'm not made a download <laughs> card." She Christ. gave me she gave me her phone number, and then said, "Wait, are you married?" And without oh, without, she did, she did, and without did. hesitation, I replied, "Separated," and <laughs> you know, without li- blinking or lying or looking away, made maintained eye contact. She said that Mike was the reason why she liked redheads and married one, and then divorced one. Wow. <laughs> That's where we were. So, that's where we were at. That's this is the two mountains that we were right. at. Uh, what I thought of when he got all red was Mike. I don't know if you know this, but when Mike gets uh, very severe compliments, he goes into full Braveheart mode and he just starts putting beet juice on his face <laughs> <Yeah>. and yelling. <laughs> and what blaming the Jews for all the wars? And no, let's not go that, that far. Fuck I was thinking Mel Thank Gibson. you for your compliments. <laughs> fuck Mel Gibson. Fuck I've never dude. seen Braveheart. I've How is that guy still working? I've never seen Braveheart. I think I don't see him working too. I've seen Keeler Lethal Weapon. Up some woman's shirt, and this guy is. I've seen Lethal Weapon too, hates. but I prefer Predator too, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure where that, how that, that got there. Because the Danny Glover. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, Guys, but we we're talking about uh, Mel Gibson, who was not in Predator Two. No, we're talking about Danny Glover. That's why I prefer Predator Two. Now we're talking about Danny Glover. Before we were talking about. Yeah, you segued in your mind, but you didn't say it out loud. Uh, actually, the two of you are slow. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I will admit to that. Sometimes we need a moment. Thank you. Um, well, that sounds fun. You guys, so you, uh, any good, was it? Was so it? I didn't get sick from that because nothing oh, happened. Right, right, maybe nothing maybe happened. I know what you got sick from. Then. Nice. Yeah, try. So, uh, no. Um, no. Just, just probably just some light texting that probably died off mm. by Monday. Yeah. Well, it's a good weekend. It did it? No, did never. Just there was nothing. Oh, there was just nothing, nothing happened. Yeah. No she way. was supposed to come to Quinn's, but didn't show up, and that was the beginning of the end of that. Whoa, relationship. yeah, yeah. Quinn's was a big meeting spot. It sounds like uh, it was. I made I made yeah. it a meat spot, even you though it was like twenty five minutes from where we were staying. You could have your craft. Like, I don't care. I know this place. Your craft beer and your Japanese. There was a place noodles. I noodles. Um, you know, I was going to say this before. This is completely it has nothing to do with anything. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. We forgot like one of the coolest things that happened. Did you meet uh, Ty Mac, Nick Drake, no. Ghost, Ty Mac, Ty Mac, Bruce Leroy from the Last Dragon. Oh right, was our neighbor. We went to go get breakfast on Sunday, but they didn't really have breakfast out, and he was bummed and wanted to go get f- food. So and, I uh, got this, him in the car. And this lady who looked like Frau Blucher. Showed up right at the end with like a plate of meat and was like, "You're not gonna stay for for breakfast. I just made these muffins for you." I know. It's like I don't eat meat. Muffins, and we like man. ran. We ran to the we meat ran muffins, away man. muffins. <laughs> we wow. ran to the the car away from these people. But so we get in the car and we just you know I never really talked to him or met him at all, and then he's just letting me drive him around right in right. my car, and. uh he was super rad, really cool dude, and we're gonna try to get him on the podcast. Yeah, yeah we had be fun. fun because he was he had some really good stories. But he's talking on the phone to the Red Ranger from the Power from the Power, power variety. So it was just like a moment where I'm driving and he's on the phone being like, "Hey, bro, there was no like whatever, just like talking about that what had happened." They're talking con talking talk, right. con talk, right? And uh, yeah. I just, I just thought it was That's a cool story, yeah, It was just bro. a funny thing that I was like, oh, this is, you know, yeah. Bruce we Leroy had a good... talking to a Power Ranger <laughs> in the car with Danny and Mike. We, uh, yeah, we had, a, <laughs> we, had a good, we had a good diner breakfast with him, and uh, Dan got something called, say it. Oh, my God. Say I it. got a, I got a quesadilla that was, was it called? called the Healthy Spinach Quesadilla or something like that. <laughs> okay. And what did I get? You got the short stack of Blood pancakes. No, no, I got the Megillah pancakes. Whatever that is. With okay. pecans, with pecans and pecans and bananas. Wow. Yeah. You guys did good. Uh yeah. Ty Mac got some toast that he didn't eat and I went back and ate <laughs> he his toast. He went back and ate it. Wow. And I then he went that, back though. and ate it after that. He was like, I, Man, I have to have that toast note too. I um <laughs> I think you guys good have guy. come leave some balance since pizza at the, the Sheridan Hotel or whatever that was. Huh? I don't oh, know. Man, we did a con. Pe- the pizza at the Chiller Theater, yeah. yeah. Chiller Theater yeah. is great. Their oh, we were, asked, good try. we were asked several times about Chiller if we were going to go again. Uh, yeah. Love to. Sounds like fun. Maybe in October. 
Yeah. Maybe in October. Right. Dye right. my hair, mm-hmm. put on makeup, hope to die. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, well, he's taking maybe lyrics from in October. Maybe Clarice song. It's waiting for oh, October. Oh, yeah. Uh, cross my fingers, cross my heart, and hope to die. Anyway. Anyway. Ah, let's leave on that. Let's, well, let's, let's leave on that. Yeah, before, so, before we do, though, I do want to say there will be an announcement coming soon about a network. We're, th- we're going to join a network. A we're brand not say new which one, hosting but opportunity. Also, also we're going to be, we're going to have a lot more merch. So we're, we're on, on the case about getting some, you know, some all, all new stuff. So that'll be available at live shows. So at stay tuned. Yeah, Comic Con. Go to DannyandMike.com. Yep, you, the you audience, go. have asked for it, and we, the purveyors, have produced it. That's right. Merch. That's right. Or whatever else you want. That is that is right. So uh, check that out, DannyMike.com. Also check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash Danny and Mike with the end spelled out. Uh, there you can get live episode videos, a back catalog of awesome things like, you know, pieces of yeah, there's literature some cool from their childhood. Yeah, there's some cool beat memorabilia yeah. aren't up there. there. Foil, aren't there foil-wrapped 1990s You packs? can make some sweet oh. potato smashies. It's unopened, uh-huh. Uh-huh. unopened. Nickelodeon Magazine foil episode packs. one. Yep. The middle spread, yep. So anyway, a lot of good things on there. Uh, I am at Remy Balin. I also have another podcast called Fresh Beef you could check out. This is uh, at, Day, at D. Tamborelli or at Danny Tamborelli on Instagram. That's right. That is at Michael C. Morona on the tweets. Uh, no Instagram for him because he does He's not belong. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, check us out. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. The Adventures of Danny and Mike stars Danny Tamborelli and Michael C. Morona. The show is produced by Jeremy Bailey. For more information on the guys, visit our website at dannyandmike.com. Also, look us up on Twitter, at Danny and Mike with the and spelled out, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the adventures of Danny and Mike. Thanks for listening.